Aries, what is going on, baby? It is Scorpion Reds. I am back at it again with the remix with my baby, Fat Mad Batman. You know he is in the building. Mwah. Yes, indeed. That's my Fat Man. That's my Batman. What's going on, you guys? Shout out to everyone who has clicked this video. Thank you guys so much for all of the likes, shares, and subscribes. Thank you so much to everyone who has came over and has subscribed over on Patreon. We've been having a lot of fun over there. Um, shout out to everyone who has been sending love and light to the page. We got a lot of new decks today. Number one, we have, um, shout out to my baby 31 Shadows. We got the Healing Light Lenormand Tarot deck that we will be using today. We also have the Zen Tarot deck. All right. Shout out to my baby girl, Callie. We have the numerology deck here as well. And we also have a new love oracle deck. All right. Shout out to my baby girl, Amanda, who sent in some love and light through um, the PayPal, which helped me purchase this love oracle deck. So shout out to everyone who has been sending love and light. Have it be the Amazon wish list or the paypal send the support that way thank you guys so 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 very much for all of the love all right hold on real quick someone's knocking on my door Sorry for that interruption, okay? So, let's get into the rest of the announcements. If there's anyone who would like to book a personal and private reading with Scorpion Red Tarot, click that About tab. All of my links are on there. My booking link, my Instagram link to um, communicate with me for readings, as well as my email if you want to do a reading on Google Hangouts. So, if you want to book a reading with me, what you need to do is click that About tab. First thing that you need to do is book and then link. Book and then link, okay? So, book the reading that you want and then link up with me so we can connect for the reading. So, you can connect with me either on Instagram or on Google Hangouts, okay? If you do not want to connect on Instagram, Google Hangouts is a simple app that you can download and you just use my email, okay? Which is scorpionreds at gmail.com. Again, it's scorpionreds at gmail.com. Dot com, all right. And if you do not want to get on camera for a live video reading, what you can do is purchase an add on, and that add on is called a private upload slash video recap. You can use that add on if you've purchased the reading and you are doing a live video reading and you just want me to record the whole session and upload the video to YouTube so you can watch it back later. So you know, you can have. A video recording of the session you can use the add-on for that or like I said if you do not want to get on camera you can use the add-on for a private video upload and what you would do you would send me a message have it on Google Hangouts or Instagram and you would send me a message of the question that you have based on the reading that you purchased okay so do um, make sure that you only send me the question and do not send me the information pertaining why you're asking the question because I don't want you guys to say, well, I just told you that. I want to go into the energy completely blind and see what spirit has to say so that you can know, you know how to move going forward. So that's how we do it. So make sure that you send me the question and not the information pertaining and then we'll link up from there and within 24 to 48 hours you should have your um, reading uploaded to YouTube for your viewing pleasure, okay? And if you guys want to send love and light or if you would like to um, subscribe to Patreon, again, Patreon, if you cannot afford a personal or private reading or if you just want to connect with me and have access to exclusive content, we have some more, we have some other decks that was also sent through the Amazon wish list that is more sexually graphic as you can see that we cannot use over here on YouTube so we have more sexually graphic content and conversations over back at the lair okay and you guys have access to membership only private readings they're not as extensive as a private reading um, a personal private reading that you will purchase through my booking site but it's about a 10 
to about 15 minute reading um, that you guys have access to and that way you can get like a little quickie it's like a little quickie and then we also have um, exclusive content that's uploaded there and very soon we will be having a live call-ins we will be having topics that we will be discussing based on the readings that the um, information that's been coming out in the collective readings and then the 499 we have a 199 tier and a 499 tier the 499 tier is the adult only explicit content tier where we have the sex um, secrets and scandals reading um, and those call-ins on that level I mean that the private reading on that level will be call-ins instead of people submitting their question or me getting questions during a live feed like you guys will be on a conference line and you will be able to call in and talk to me as well as view the live on view the reading on live okay so that's the information for the patreon if y'all have any questions y'all could just email me again at um scorpionrez at gmail.com and um also just be aware i'm still learning <laughs> patreon so y'all just bear with me but at the end of the day when i finish my monthlies that's where i'm gonna be at for the majority of time i'm probably going to hop in on youtube every now and then to do the divine feminine daily bread and to give y'all a tea reading but all of the other exclusive content that y'all it's probably going to be a little quiet on my off weeks on youtube because i'm gonna be over on patreon and y'all will see me going live saying hey i'm on patreon hey i'm on patreon live readings on patreon this is and that blah 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 so yeah a lot of stuff will be over on patreon so shout out to everyone that's over there and um it's going to be more live as we continue to grow and thank you guys so much for the love light and support so aries enough of the house announcements let's get into the reading father god thank you so much for bringing us here thank you so much for all of the joy the laughter just the support and the hugs and just the reasoning like for whatever reason like things have been just going up for us like we have our little periods you know where we have them little down moments where people be trying to throw some bullshiggity in the little mix or whatever but for the majority of the part we've been in the up spring we've been in the upswing and father god we thank you so much for um we haven't had too much to frown about we really haven't i can't even say that we have um aries has been on some cool baby cool shit you know what i'm saying like we've been real cooling so father give us guidance please continue to keep the fun the happiness the joy and the kindness in our heart father god thank you so much for all of the prosperity and the blessings and the abundance that's just circulating our heart right now father god because as long as it's circulated in our heart it seems to be attracting more of it to us and i think that we are understanding that now um definitely to stop worrying and thinking about what other people doing and just keep that fun happiness joy and kindness in our spirit because when we put that energy out we get more of it and we're more receptive to receiving more of it so thank you so much father god please give us guidance for the sign of aries for mid-june um the 15th through the 30th thank you so much for all of the blessings and the lessons in the past present and future please give my beautiful beautiful aries and you know shout out to my baby my baby look at her look at her oh let me get my massage oh you need it yeah go to sleep off yeah that's all you gotta do with aries aries look psh, psh. Aries, they all that fuss of the stuff, please. Like, that's all you gotta do. That's all you gotta do. Oh, shut up. Yeah. Mm hmm Yeah, I know. Mm hmm Got all that shit in your mind. Yeah. Mm hmm Shut up. Girl, bye. Anyway. <laughs> Shout out to all my Aries. Y'all know I love my Aries. Like, I keep trying to tell y'all one of my best friends is an Aries. And he's just a damn mess. Love him to death. Mm mm mm. Give me guidance. Give me guidance. Give me guidance for my Aries. Yes, sir. Father God, give me guidance for my Aries. Self-discipline. I don't know. I Like, these other ones popped out right here. What does this say? Comet completion. Nature. And spiritual partnership. Okay. So. I think I shall keep these. Right. 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 
Y'all saying yes, yes? Okay. Okay. Self-discipline, karmic completion, nature, and spiritual partnership. So I'm telling you right off the back what I get with this. You guys are learning how to control a lot of urges, a lot of things. I feel like you guys were put in a few situations or going to be put in some situations where it's like... <laughs> You might be having to have some self-discipline and having to control your innate nature. You see what I'm saying? Because you completing karmic cycles and the things that you used to do. It's just like you're not even on that level no more. Like I feel like you are a lot more in tune with your intuition and your spirituality and um, karmic law. You know, just your integrity as a man or your integrity as a woman and it's just certain things that it's just not even worth giving into the temptation anymore and it's just like you always want to be true to your nature but at the same time i feel like a different nature the spiritual nature that's within you that actually wants to do better that actually wants to grow and you are demonstrating self-discipline and finishing this karmic cycle this karmic completion you see what i'm saying you will you will complete in this cycle and, and just like writing off the last little bit of karmic debt you know so you can have a clean slate and you can just be true to your nature and you just want a different wavelength you want a spiritual partnership something that makes you feel good on the inside that don't just look good on the outside but just on the inside someone that's beautiful someone that's truly beautiful and they help you understand your nature and y'all like connected y'all grow you know and, and and i'm really taking this as like a lot of like karmic completions like a lot of like karmic relationships and a lot of karmic situations that will bring negative karma to you where necessarily in the past, you kind of had this I don't give a fuck type of mentality. It was using this like gray area. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah. Just doing whatever. Because you do have a reckless nature too. You know? And it's like, I'm not there no more in my life. I'm not there no more in my life. Projection. Projection. I feel like fantasy into reality. I take that um, projections. I take that as like a seven of cups. And, you know, that's like illusion, fairy tale, mystery. Um, you know, because if you look at this picture, look at their face and look at what is being projected their faces are not smiling but what the, the energy that's being projected out is something different it's illusionary to the actual current state you know what i'm saying and that's why i said um I, that's why i feel like aries is 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 demonstrating yeah creativity okay that's the empress might be you might be um looking to start a family have another child or maybe you're expecting a child or maybe you were just like you just moved and you were decorating your home you're decorating your environment um ordinariness ordinariness that is like the eight of the eight of pentacles to me creativity and okay so what i feel like here I feel like you're in a state of like illusion, like a state of dream, like a dream-like state, a, a, a creative state, okay? A creative state here with this empress, you see? It's like you projecting your imagination, your illusion, the fantasy, and you're trying to make a reality like art imitates life. That's what I'm getting. It's like 
that's not what's actually going on currently in the environment right now but i feel like if you project that energy out there like it'll manifest and it'll create itself within life like you feel like nature will open up and blossom that flower so that it will bloom on its own like that's what i'm getting i feel like you guys are like dreaming like y'all are dreaming and you see like this garden this ordinariness like you you are you're trying to create a different space a different space of peace i heard punctuation what the fuck does that mean punctuation oh crossing crossing t's and dot and i's like punctuation i don't know like what, what i just hear is talking about angles release of guilt not in between okay okay and two and the eight of swords all right, so I feel like this this person is no longer this schizof this schizophrenia in the reverse. I feel like this person has been hung up between two different worlds, like a place where they're just settling and they're just existing, and a place of where they really want to be and they thrive and they feel this sense of ordinariness like they're in this vast like garden of all of these beautiful flowers and they're able to just smell the beauty of the earth like from all the beautiful nature that's around like they just they're around beauty you know what i'm saying even with this empress like they're around beauty beauty it's something about beauty and a beautiful world and like they're just trying to project something that they can't have and that's a fantasy and they're, and they're having self-discipline trying not to disturb what's ordinary in their life right now but I feel like they're working towards it but they have to complete some type of karmic cycle so that they can be in this nature so they can be in this beautiful nature in this beautiful world that they want to feel ordinary to them. This spiritual partnership. I feel like that you see how the clouds is up at the top with this being in the reverse. Like they in the clouds. Like I said, like it is like their head be in the clouds. Like they be really, really dreaming. But it's like they're about to make their dreams in reality. And I feel like whatever it is that they're about to do. To complete this karmic cycle, I feel like they're going to do it without any type of mental guilt or, you know what I'm saying? Because I feel like whatever it is, they're not about to stress and worry because they're just trying to create a new life, a new, something, a new normal, a new ordinary maturity I feel like whatever they're about to do is not necessarily a mature thing to do but it's like I gotta live I gotta live I feel like they're mentally going crazy in whatever it is because they're trying to what is this saying experiencing slowing down like, whatever it is that they're experiencing, they don't want it to slow down. It's like, I got to catch it. I got to follow it. Like, I I can't. You see what I'm saying? This just came out. Whatever they're experiencing, they don't want it to slow down. It's like, they want to be in it. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I, I can't slow down. I'm not, like, whatever it is, they don't have no guilt about it. It's a it's like a complete fantasy. They're seeing all of the colors of life. They're able to taste and feel and experience nature experience like whatever it is it's like the whole world opens up in colors where they they see in colors they see in smells they see in vibrations they see life in a different 
way it's trippy to them like they on an acid trip or some shit like that and it's like look a tree hugger like whatever like they done took some of that leprechauns on acid like this motherfucker done took some uh, this nigga on some boat or something <laughs> like this nigga motherfucker hugging the tree and shit like that like kumbaya my lord kumbaya like this <laughs> like this motherfucker is hugging trees singing kumbaya it's like they don't want to not ever not experience this shit they don't want it to slow down listen they do not want whatever it is. They don't want it to slow down. They don't want it to stop. They want they pressing the gas. Okay? Load up the clip. Load up the clip. Give me guidance in regards to what this is. What is going on? And they just don't feel guilty about it. And it's like, it's something like where before they might have drove themselves crazy with this schizophrenia in reverse. But like now it's like they're free of guilt they're free of feeling like they're in between two worlds and they don't know what decision to make they're like no i know what decision i'm making i don't give a fuck if it's i need to feel this vibration i need to feel these colors like i gotta live this i can't just let this you know like you're definitely about to leave it's like even though i love this or whatever whatever it is like you're definitely it's like your ship has, has sailed in. Like, it's like your ship finally came in. And it's like, uh. What is up with this damn anchor in this stork keep coming up? In the tree. Like, it's like a change, like, hit this Aries. It's just like, and you see, like, I don't know, like, some, something just. It's like rooted and grew in them. Like, you know what I'm saying? You see this as a tree too. It's like something just grew on them. Something or someone grew on them and it's just planted itself in this Aries heart. And it's just like, it's changed them. And then clearly you see with that anchor, like it ain't going nowhere. It's like not going anywhere. And with this stork, Like, I, I feel like I wouldn't put it past Aries that ever that they planning to get somebody pregnant or they want to create life. It's like, I feel like they want, they want to create life. You know, like that, that's what I'm feeling. It's like art imitate life. They want to, want to manifest whatever this dream, this fantasy, this thing is into life. You guys, let's, let's go a little bit into this cardamancy stuff. Let's see what this say. With this seven of hearts here on this tree. And then number one, let's let's just go into the tree real quick. Just to get some firm. Just, you know. Because I know tree to me, it means rooted. It means grounded. It means something that is like grassroots, you know. It says, it says this means health. Karma, karmic connection, growth, deeply rooted from the past, personal ev um, evolution, spiritual, analytical. It says when a tree appears in the reading, it also, it also involves um, a, someone's current health. For instance, when the reading whatever the hell that means the tree the tree main cards focuses on determining if there's any health issues that the person needs to be concerned about it says it also appears to indicate when there is a karmic connection between two people such as soulmates or knowing each other in a past life likewise Matters indicated by the tree card are often tied to the past. They've been developing for a while, being allowed to grow and take root consciously or not. It can also indicate someone is spiritual. This doesn't mean religious per se, as it is typically represented in the cross. However, in the tree, it can indicate someone who meditates practices yoga and you know things of, of 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 you know 
things of that nature. So, like I said, like this is most and it okay. And then let's 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 jump into the anchor. The anchor here. Where you at? Where you at? The anchor. The anchor means reaching your goal, stability, persistence, long lasting, settling down, faithful. The anchor card is about safety, remaining steadfast. It's about being tied to a secure place or goal. It's a positive card. It shows that everything will be okay, that you can weather any storm and brings a sense of stability to your reading. It means that you've reached your harbor, arrived to your destination, attained your goal. In love, this means um, a committed relationship. It shows settling down, faithfulness, stability. It can point to being tied down, but it's a possessive, positive card in a loving relationship reading. Um, it can mean job stability, and it can also mean the hip or pelvic bone. As it can indicate conditions at the long term or stable, depending on the, the other cards. Like, like I said, it's like they, they're about to walk away. Like they're almost like manifesting this into their life. And without conscience, they're willing to walk away and leave whatever the fuck behind. Not caring of what or who thinks what about their decision they just have to embrace this and they something is rooted in them and like I just said it could be something from the past it's a karmic situation like karmic completion but I feel like they're they're having self-discipline and they're handling a karmic completion because they're trying to be true to their nature and connect with a spiritual partnership. Like, that's what I'm getting. The, the stork represents change, tall, relocation, movement, slim or skinny, long legs, graceful. The stork card is about change. You might experience anything from a change of plans to a change of residence, depending on surrounding cars. If you've been experiencing stagnation in your life, it could come to an end should you be moving forward. However, this forward momentum could be blocked if the stork is followed by negative cards, which is not. When describing a person in an alarming deck, the stork refers to someone who was tall, often quite slim with long legs. In love, the stork card um, represents change in a relationship, usually positive. You may need to move things forward, work on improving your relationship, or take some time apart. In career, you could be experiencing change in a job. It could be anything from a promotion or a new line of work. In health, it indicates health improvements and recovery. All right? So... Mm. And then I just wanted to as well, because I know I'm, I'm going in, you guys. I know I am. I know I am. Just give me one second. I just want to see what that seven of hearts mean. If you give me one second on this tree card. The seven of hearts, peaceful surroundings, healing, steady improvements, happy surprises, a cycle of life. Second chance opportunity to redo things, things that come in too. So, like this said, this is something clearly, this is something or someone from the past because this person came around them before, and I feel like might have started up change, and that's what planted those roots. That's like someone planted a seed that grew in them, and I feel like they might, but they, I feel like they've always been in between two worlds where, like. They really couldn't do anything about it. But I feel like this time around, like maybe y'all just bumped into each other or y'all just have a second chance. And it's like this time, it's like, no, I'm hooked and I'm anchored. Like you not going nowhere. I don't give a fuck what nobody think. And I definitely think in the stork to me, the stork typically to me represents birth. Represents birth to me. You know what I'm saying? So... And then the Queen of Hearts here, 
Let's dig into the Queen of Hearts. I mean, clearly we shouldn't even really have to tell you about the Queen of Hearts. But the Queen of Hearts is right here on the store. And it says, a kindly maternal woman, family oriented, a mother, wife, a sister, or aunt, a trustworthy, passionate, romantic, creative, and artistic woman. She can't be overly sensitive. All right? All right? So, yes, and let's, and let's get into this. What is this? The Nine of Spades. Nine of Spades represents what? Nine of Spades traditionally represents sadness, adversity, failure, suffering, emotional or physical pain, grief or malice. This is a very unfavorable card. It forebodies tragic events including accidents, serious injuries, serious illness, self-injury, and harm to self or one another. Feeling pressured or forced to do something, it can indicate a complete loss of control, a breakdown of established patterns. It can represent a disappointment or broken heart, karmic debts, obligations, and or duty to self or to others. So, clearly, like I said, I feel like this person is anchored to someone else. Clearly, it's saying that there, there has to be some type of self-discipline. There's a karmic completion and there's a, there's a karmic completion that someone is trying to change something. They're trying to change something. Because something has grown. Something has been rebirthed. Something has been awoken in them again. You know? And it's like, I can't. I, I am hugging this tree. Like... You can't leave me this time. Like, this is not, we're not slowing down. We're not about to lose the momentum. Like, we're going this time around. Like, I don't give a fuck what nobody say. Like, I don't, I don't care. Like, I'm experiencing all of this. Like, it's like, I truly get that. And I feel like whoever they're anchored to, because like I said, this is someone between two worlds. Heads in the cloud, daydreaming, fantasizing. Like this person is in, like they might be doing yoga or meditation or just some type of manifestation. They're doing some type of manifestation where they are projecting their thoughts into reality. You understand? Look at the face and look at the projection. Two totally different things. Hmm. Clarify this for me, please. Clarify this. Clarify the stork. Clarify the stork, the anchor, and the tree for me, please. For my Aries. Clarify the... Oh, okay. Change. Travel. And I see a car, so it's like someone wants to move. Great fortune. Gift. Thief. Hmm. Who's the thief? Expectation. Clarify the thief and expectation, please. The official person. Okay. Okay. So, there's, there's been a change in luck. I feel like there's been a change in luck for Aries. I feel like something that is that, I feel, okay. There's been a change in luck for Aries. There's been a change in luck. It's been a very fortunate situation for them that something is being given to them that was once stolen away. You know? And right now, what Aries is manifesting and what they're projecting to the universe and what they're expecting back through these projections is they're expecting to officially be the official person in this situation. This is a love situation. This is like... there. It's like... This is like some pre-retrograde shit, like what was stolen 
what I lost is finally coming back to me. And I don't give a fuck who I'm talking to. It's like whoever the fuck Aries is talking to, whatever is going on, like they are like almost willing to like leave everything right there where it is to follow this this time because they're not going to let it get away. And it's like I finally got this opportunity. It's like it's being gifted to me again, something that was stolen from me. And I'm this this time is is not going to slip away from me again. You know what I'm saying? It's not going to slip away from me again. And as you can see, the lady is sitting there waiting. It's like waiting for their time to be the official person. Does that make sense? Let's go into the Game of Thrones. All right. Let's let's tap into what's going on. Clarify the Lenormand spreads, please. The tree, the anchor, stork, change, great fortune, the gift, peace, expectations, official person. What is this? The eight of swords. They're releasing themselves from being caught up in a mental prison. The will of fortune. Like I said, Aries feels like they're being blessed and they've been fortunate with a brand new opportunity. The temperance card, they feel like they're smarter this time around. Like they know how not to fuck anything up. And like they have a lot of faith and a lot of hope into this. And like I said, this projection, like they've been putting a lot of energy projecting whatever this is. Oh, and the ten of coins, the ten of coins, like this is like. A loving beautiful solid foundation with someone like the happy house the happy home fine like they're financially good like they eat well they live well like it's strong love strong commitment like there's a lot of work being put in at the table there's a lot of being there's a lot of like it's a very healthy it's a very healthy committed long-lasting situation and it's like they're not going to be caught up in their head about what it is that they want they know exactly what they want and they don't feel ashamed about it like I'm not going to sit here and like drive myself crazy about some shit that I know I fucking want like I fucking want this I don't think I'm wrong for wanting this shit and I'm sorry for whoever it is that I'm sorry for whoever it is that I might hurt, but let me guess. Tell him I thought tell him I thought finished recording. Alright, close the door, baby. Come on, door. Okay, I'll they go to crib. B here go to T. B. There's gonna be victory. And Aries is gonna see that there's gonna be victory in this in endeavor. Crib birth or conception of a child or enterprise i told you like aries is either planning on getting someone pregnant or they're expecting a child from someone but they're there they are going to carry it what does it say opportunity or windfall they feel like this was just a windfall like you just blew into my life like the arrow you were on the right path regarding some aspect of your life like they feel like my life is headed that way. <laughs> Livy, spiritual love. Yeah, like they feel like they're a soulmate. It's like the way that they connect with this person is like dangerous, especially in money matters. But Aries is experiencing something. And then it says a dog, a far away. It's someone from your past. It's someone that you haven't seen in a while. A distant friend is thinking of you. Bear. Dangerous, especially in money matters. So watch out with your money. Pale. It's time to get out of a situation. Okay? And then valley. Deep personal strength and peace that assures assess. I feel like... There's a distant friend thinking about Aries. Like your old dog or some shit like that. But... Even though you're thinking about them and possibly they're thinking about you or you're they're thinking about you and possibly you're thinking about them. I think this is the person that 
this is someone that like I just heard homie love a friend like y'all homie love a friend like this is like someone that y'all connected in the past but y'all never really had a chance to connect because there was so much other shit going on that it made it impossible and it's like I'm not this is like spiritually guided this is spiritually connected I feel like there's something going on with Aries in regards to some money but you see like they feel like it'll be strong committed and like y'all will be good like they have faith that everything will be good they just had to get out of this mental prison about feeling like they're doing something wrong like it's for some reason like they feel like they're doing something wrong like i'm sorry i'm being nosy like what the fuck what the fuck what's what's going on why does aries feel like they're doing something wrong because it's like they just want to be the official person. So it has to be that this person is with somebody else or that Aries was with somebody else. Like karmic completion. Like what, Fat Man? What's going on, man? What's going on, Fat Man? You ain't going to tell me the tea? Hmm? You just going to sit there and look like that? I don't know why I expect anything out of this nigga. Like he don't ever be snitching. Look, he said snitches get stitches. Oh, okay. Okay, you know Fat Man be gangster. I don't listen. That's why I don't be dealing with him like that. Cause me and him have a love hate relationship, honey. He's like, look. Sometimes I feel like a nut. Sometimes I don't. Um, enjoys got nuts. Mouths don't. Um, recognition. Recognition. Give me guidance and love for Aries, please. It's like they finally getting recognized. It's like it's it's my time for recognition. They taking the mask off. They taking the mask off like they're not. They taking the mask off, but there's some still some healing about this. It's like something about all of their chakra. It's like something. I feel like this base chakra. It's at the top. It's like the first thing that they need to deal with. It's that root chakra. And then the divine feminine is in the reverse. Give me guidance. The signs is in the reverse. The signs is pointing in the other direction though. Anything else? Then we got the mute card. We got the commitment card. We got the third party card. And then we got the bit. Okay. Yeah, like I said, they're still. It's like they want to be recognized, but it's like. I feel like they know if they was to just. They want, uh, it's like, Aries is going to start a bad karmic downfall if they just do things the way that they're thinking about doing it right now. Because it's just like, yeah, you're finally being recognized by this person. But you know, even though you want to take your mask off, there's still a mask. But it's like, you're ready to take it off. But... You, before you can take it off, you need to get yourself rooted and grounded because you feel like, I don't feel like you really understand what the divine feminine means. It's like, you know that you're around whoever this, I think, okay, you've never been around divine, divine feminine energy and you met someone that is like, on a spiritual level takes you to a place that you've never even been before that you never even knew existed so it's like all right mask off fuck it mask off like this person is recognizing me now i'm getting a second chance like i'm just ready to just throw it all away for this person you know what i'm saying but at the same time it's like i feel like throughout 
everything that you've been trying to do to fix certain things in your life, it's like you will almost be throwing it all away. You know, you will be throwing it all away because I feel like the person that is your divine feminine right now or whoever the person that you're with, because clearly the third party is there, there is a karmic, there, I mean, there, there is a karmic connection with someone that you're currently with that you don't look at as a divine feminine. And I feel like you will be reversing your healing and everything that you've been trying to do to like better yourself if you hurt that person. Do you see what I'm saying? Because the signs is pointing to her. You see what I'm saying? The one that you are with that you don't feel like is someone of divine you know, elevation. You don't feel like the person that you with is on that spiritual level. And the signs is pointing to her. And it's like, you can't just ghost this person. Because I feel like you almost want to just, like, pack up and go and just leave. And, like, this person come home and there's no trace of you type of shit. Like, that's, like, literally the energy that I'm getting here. Like, you can't just ghost this person like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, because that's going to start the Wheel of Fortune to where it's a situation that you feel so blessed that, oh, it, I got a second chance. This person came into my life. You're going to set forth the wheels of karma to go in the negative direction in regards to this commitment. And it's like, yeah, you did this shit because you actually want to go somewhere where you really feel like you can be committed. But at the same time, you fuck somebody else over to get there. So at the end of the day, that's almost like spitting on the foundation of where you're trying to go. You know, because it's like you ended this third party situation bad and it kind of distorted you being able to reach this big dream to reach the big fish because now karmically you're setting forth a new batch of karmic energy with this person that you just hurt and now you're going to have to fix that energy. You see what I'm saying? So now I feel... I understand the whole self-discipline and karmic completion. Like you, if you going to end shit, you got to have self-discipline and handle shit like a, a boss bitch or, or, or a man. And you got to handle these karmic completions. You got to do this shit the right way. You know what I'm saying? You can't just off on a whim just because you just, oh, like, oh, this person is spiritual. This is my, I feel like... Uh, I can be myself. You know, this person understands my nature. We have a spiritual connection. I'm just ready to leave it all. Like, no, nigga. Like, you can't, you can't do that. I mean, you can do that, but you shouldn't do that, my G. You understand what I'm saying? My nigga, you cannot fucking do that. Okay? Give me guidance for Aries. Give me guidance for Aries, please. So, what does it say? Playfulness. It says... Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together and remember, love is the greatest healer. All right? I feel like there's a lot of laughter. There's a lot of love in this connection with the person that you're with. Transformation. Your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. Whoever it is that you're connecting with, I mean, you feel that y'all's relationship is transforming. This is a lot. It says... The past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. And I'm trying to tell you, like, y'all have almost blind faith in this shit. It's just like, I'm about to jump off the motherfucking bridge, bitch. I'm going to be good. But this is saying to wait. Don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. Like, you got to... I'm trying to tell you, like, you willing to, like, you going to fuck up your and this person's karma about the way that you are going to present yourself into their life. You know, that's why I'm saying, wait, it says deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. I'm trying to tell you, listen, I was about to throw some of these damn cards back and God said, you better not do that because I got a message here. This motherfucker need to hear me. All right. All right. So I feel like, you know, things are going to transform. You already put that manifestation out there. Like, it's going to come to fruition on its own. I, you know, like, just allow things to happen naturally. Because I feel like if you force it and if you go and hurt somebody, you're only hurting yourself. You know what I'm saying? And especially you don't want to go. You're not going to see victory into a situation 
with no third party shit. You see? So it's like having self-discipline. Like if you want whatever it is, you need to do what you need to do. Transformation, that's the death card. You know what I'm saying? So clarify this situation for the Aries for me. Did some flip over? No. What is this? Is this the nine of swords? Yeah, the nine of swords. Yeah, don't so and it says self sabotage and nightmares. Like, yeah, I feel like in the past, like you've done this before. Like you just self sabotage and you just destroy shit with malice and just like ill intent and you don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like I don't want to deal with the nightmare of knowing that I did I did some fucked up shit and that I came into the situation wrong. And you want to be able to sleep at night. You want to be able to sleep easy. And it's like, even though you... it's not, I don't even think that it's necessarily that you're not happy where you're at. You know what I'm saying? It's just that it ain't this motherfucker. You know? What is this? The Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, and, and it's like... You're impatient. It's like, you're impatient in, in regards to the situation that you're in. Like, you try to wait for this situation to be fruitful and to grow and it just didn't grow to your expectations you know it didn't grow you didn't get a full harvest you got a short harvest you know what i'm saying like you wanted ten of pentacles and you got seven and you was like well i was betting on ten of pentacles because i was going to sell some of it and try to like get some of my money back but shit this is just enough for me this ain't enough money for me to like plant a new seed for my next harvest and then the sale like this is not what i was bargaining for you know and i feel like i feel like that's why y'all kind of felt almost not guilty about wanting to self-sabotage this situation because it's like someone in this situation didn't allow well, this is the home situation. Someone didn't allow it to grow. The nine of wands, trials and tribulations. Yeah, y'all went through more than enough trials and tribulations, you know. And like both of you guys are guarded. This is the home situation. Both of you guys are guarded. And what is this? The page of cups. And I don't even feel like there's any more expression of love in this home situation anymore. There's no more expression of love in this home situation. In this, in this home, in this home. In this home. And then what is this here? The five of wands. Uh, I feel like it's a tug of war for this Aries at home. And they're really tired of the conflict. And even feeling like they have to have other people in the situation to make them feel fulfilled. Because I do feel like Aries constantly has a third party there because i do see them trying to get over this they just want one you know what i'm saying like they just want one the two of pentacles like yeah the juggling like they're always like walking this balancing they're doing this balancing act they're always like trying to balance themselves between two worlds trying to balance themselves between two worlds and then the Eight of Wands. And like I said, this person stopped communicating with Aries before. This person stopped having sex and communicating with Aries before. And they went off and they found their own satisfaction. They became successful and good on their own. Like this person is independent now. And Aries is yet again still in a... It's still in a karmic situation. You know what I'm saying? Like this person is single, but Aries is not single. And I feel like this person stopped communicating with Aries before because they were doing this balancing act. Let's find out what's going on. Some balance in the heart here. Let's see what's going on in the matters of the heart for the Aries. Belief in 
belief and succeed. It's like they're still like Aries is still you Aries is still gonna move forward. They're in love. That number six represents love. And then listen, move came out. Someone has Aries heart in the palm of their hand and they're like they feel spiritually guided to move like the number six represents love it represents obligation it represents um harmony relationship what does it says nurturing yeah nurturing caring and then the number seven represents contemplation understanding spiritual analysis wisdom knowledge withdrawal you know so i feel like they withdrew from somebody because they just believe that they'll succeed moving forward like their heart is like moving forward and someone has their heart in the palm someone has aries fucking heart like do you ooh, shine like oh my gosh wow and then detach It's like they're able to fucking shine. They believe that they will succeed if they move forward. They're in love. They are withdrawn from whatever they were in before. They're moving because they feel spiritually guided. They see the light. You know what I'm saying? They're able to shine. Like, I feel like they feel... Like they're in the spring. Like they feel. Or like they just want to spring up and just jump up. Like I said. They just want to spring up and jump up and detach here. Like. That picture that they're in. Like they are like cutting themselves out of that picture. And setting themselves free. And they're going towards peace with that dove right there. Wow. Wow. Last spread you guys. Let's see what's coming out in this last spread, y'all. Y'all, y'all damn readings been getting juicy. Juicy like Lucy. It been getting juicy like Lucy. Mass all. Fuck it, mass all. Aries said mass all. Fuck it, mass all. This bitch is single and independent. She getting her stacks up. Like, she looking good as shit. Sitting out here. Like, I'd be damned this bitch about to block me again. I'll go crazy. Like, fuck no. I'm moving. Thank you. Like, <laughs> No, the arrow is pointed in your direction, clearly. Like they might be wanting to put some carrots on your some carrots on your hand and put a baby in your belly. You understand what I'm saying? Like this is what type of shit Aries is on. Like they see victory and like that's all they see and that's all they know. And they like about to detach. Give Aries guidance and love, please. What is this saying? White. Like this situation is pure. Like they feel safe. They feel innocent. They feel the light with this person. Like this person has just like spiritually awoken Aries. The seashell, but to protect it's like something about. Hmm. Why is the protection? Clarify this protection in reverse, please. Clarify this protection. 222. Two, two. Partnerships and balances. Pay attention to the new people entering your life and take time to balance the energy with existing ones. It's like I feel like you, even though this situation is pure and you feel like it's a heaven sent, you are not going to be able to protect relationships. It's like with the new that's coming into your life, you're not sure that you'll be able to protect the emotions and the balance that you'll have with the new versus the old. You know what I'm saying? I feel like, what is this? Tidal wave. And then the spider came out. Tidal wave, the spider, and then what else came out? What is this? 11-11. And then what else came out? Ooh, Enchanted. And what else came out? Is this the death? This the urn. Morning. Wowzers. Wowzers. All right, so 
this how we about to end this off right here. It's like y'all are fucking in love. Like, I don't know who the fuck this is, Aerie, but whoever the fuck this is got you open. And it's like. And this spider web, this spider, this 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 weave, it was it was in the reverse. And this eleven eleven was in the reverse. But this urn and the enchanted was in the upright. I know that you feel like this is pure. And I'm not saying that it's not, but I feel like your intentions on how you're trying to achieve it, like you're taking signs the wrong way. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't want you to hurt people. You're going to taint the purity of this connection if that's what you feel. Because I feel like even though that you feel like this is heaven sent, there's not going to be any protection for you. You know what I'm saying? If you don't balance going in from one situation into another. It says pay attention to the new people entering your life and take time to balance your time and energy with existing ones. Like you have to... There has to be a transition from the past into the present. Do you understand what I'm saying? And God is not going to protect you and how you do that. You're going to do what you're going to do. What is going to determine the outcome of your future is going to be based on how pure your heart is and how you protect the hearts of others. Just because you have something new doesn't mean that you just discard and you, you hurt people. Do you understand what I'm saying? And I don't know why this is in here like this, but I feel like you can't leave people in mourning. Like you can't leave one situ pay attention to a new situation and just take your efforts and intentions off of another one just because you're enchanted. Just because you're in love. You know, this 11-11 in reverse, it says spiritual awakening. You're on the right path. That's not showing that you're spiritually awakened. That's not showing that you're on the right path. And spirit is trying to urge you, please do not weave. Be careful of the of the, of the, of the spider webs that you weave. Like, you know what I'm saying? You don't want to be creeping around. Like, still, it's like, you still creeping. You know? And it's be careful. Be careful of what what mess you spawning up because you're going to create a, a, a nasty tidal wave of effect into not only your life but the life of this person that you want so bad and it's like do you want it so bad that you're willing to bring chaos and disruption karmically to someone it's like you're not even going to give it a give y'all a chance to thrive because of the energy that was set forth around it based off of your actions that's why these cards are right here. Self-discipline and karmic completion. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, if that's what you really want, you need to allow nature to take its course. And you need to do what you need to do so that you can be spiritually aligned to the spiritual connection. And that you can have a spiritual relationship. Because if you go into it, if you go into it the wrong way, if you, if you... You know, the spider webs that we weave, if you if you don't be careful of the webs that we weave, there will be a nasty tight tidal wave. And it's not going to affect you, it's going to affect other people too. And it's like you're going to be the one to blame. You know what I'm saying? Even though your heart was pure, it's like your intentions wasn't pure when you did what you did because you knew that people were getting hurt. And it's like you could have and you can do things a better way. You know what I'm saying, Aries? So anyway, I love you. This has been your reading. I hope that this helped you guys. If it resonated, make sure that you hit those thumbs up button. Um, make sure that you click that like, the subscribe button if you would like to subscribe. If you want to follow me on over to Patreon, uh, mm, Patreon and um, get access to the collective readings. Be able to call in so we can chat on topics that come out on the collective readings. And if you want to be eligible and able to have access to when I do the live private readings, you guys come on over to scorpion reds tarot the collector gatherers exclusive membership only club and you know 
yeah we're going to do what we do over there and i cannot wait to get to the sex scandals and secrets honey i switch the damn name up every time i say it. it's going to stick to me in my head what i i done called it uh when i do it next time i know it will but i love you guys thank you so much for your energy thank you so much for the love and light make sure make sure make sure that you guys are spreading love and honey mm, someone is about to anchor someone in and put a baby right in their belly hmm i got to go peace